so we have to go through we have to go for this location hi hey, excuse me Batowski <laughs> Batowski you're blocking the way man no this buddy spill it or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you previously on L A Nor. You might back up. Yeah, that's yes, right. Sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. Okay. We have the Vic Scooter Payton, a Negro male, bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Mm -hmm. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. Yeah. Could show some initiative, Ralph. Here you go. Let's see if we can come up with an owner. Of a Smith and Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips. That's right. Might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. Ooh. Ooh. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Yeah, of course. Eh? This could be one goal. Day of murder. Did you okay. see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Yeah, of course see, I did. You see somebody? Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger mm, okay he threw the gun in a bin and turned so that's and why away. what do well, you know there was one bang and then another and then three very quickly close together we have the murder weapon yeah and the murderer the girl saw it all our killer works at a jewelry store called hartfields that's a couple of blocks from here mm. officer cole phelps are you edgar kalu uh no, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gates. I need. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young folks. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. Mm. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every he proposal really I ever put him. forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. That's right. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Okay. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division, welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Yeah. Get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See okay. what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. What's up, guys? Jonas Romeo Verigan here, and welcome back to our gameplay, not in LA Nor. Alright guys, we're back at the game of LA Noor. As you can see my previous episode that I bust the guy who killed who killed the jewelry store owner in the previous patrol case. Since I've been promoted myself as a traffic division, so this is where I put it now. So okay, I hope you enjoy it guys and let's get along with this episode. I hope you like it. Uh, just click like to subscribe, click the notification bell for more updates on some of my videos. So let's get to it. All right, but first we gotta see if I have a lot about it. So, oh damn, I got I already I really like that Broderick. Someone will say there was an outfit new here. I would prefer the sharpshooter. It's fine. It's really good to me. All right, guys. So I have a got task to today. Got to second later tonight. To investigate the Ford Depot. Super they really sick. pushed you through quick, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. Uh -huh. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course not, Troy. I didn't ask any favors. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works in Signo Depot in the warehouse district. Okay, let's go. I'll direct. You drive, man. So. Tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Because No. Nope. We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Mm -hmm. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as the first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa. Mm -hmm. So he home. was really a soldier. Here on the beat. Oh, so yeah, I think I remember about the 
I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. You know, you were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready, finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part in the house. <laughs> what did you do? I kept the streets of LA safe for the people. Yeah. I don't think I'll Now I get it. Unfit for service. Fuck you, folks. I heard a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. Why don't you do something for me and end my misery? I told really? you I'm not for amazing human traffic division. That what you mean. Alright, we're here at the scene, so this must be the right default. That you Bukowski! Go on through. Go. Parking lot straight ahead. Hey. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. Okay. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Yeah, you'll be all right, man. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Alright, let's investigate this big freight depot. Let's see if we can find out. But first, let's ask this guy. Mm, okay. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. Nate Wilkie. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. Mm -hmm. We have an owner for the car? Okay. The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. What? Okay, I get it. Thanks, thanks for the... Thanks for the patience, sir. Detective Phelps. What have we got? Hey. A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. Mm -hmm. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Mm. How's the world looking? All right, let's investigate. Damn, this one's full of blood. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. There's no way. How, how could the victim lost a lot of blood? Why, is he being chainsaw or something? Damn, is he being chainsaw? This body cut in half, but where's his body? His body's not here. It's inside his trunk. What's this? Optimistic call. What? So this, nothing useful? What about this one? F. Morgan. F. Morgan. Like, okay, it's $120. River Slaughterhouse. Wait, is he work at the piggery farm or something? Yep, it's full of dust, full of leaves, or full of dust and in, in the trunk of the car. Damn, I think it's it. Alright, let's see if the angles has. Uh... Alright, still the same angle. Okay. What are we looking for? What's this? Glasses? Oh, something useful here? Stenzel. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. This, is, this looks brand new. But no crack. Why? Hmm, what is this? Sure. Is that her wife? Happier times, I guess. Maybe that's her wife. Maybe that's Adrian Black with a guy on the glass. So it was Adrian Black. 
to the water. Thirty-two it's years old, here. married. Sounds like an average guy. Okay. What was he doing out here? Hmm. Maybe I don't know. So, so he lives at the uh, six twenty Bunker Hill Avenue downtown. Okay. So we got the uh, identity we need. Okay, is there anything more? Maybe there's something still useful. Oh, there's one. It's the kid with the bag on it. Might give us something to go on. Damn. Right, it's still more. Hey, Flatfoot, you're looking to get rid of that old crate? I'll give you a nickel for it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. I swear. You guys, take your time. No freight rolling through here till we're done. And we're still punching the clock. Damn, yeah. is there anything more? Maybe that's it. Are there any events getting throw here? No or not? Maybe that's the many things to do. Alright, let's ask this guy. Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You okay. found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. Okay. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, let's ask this guy's question. So Nate Wilkie Brown, 43. So he's the witness of the crime scene. So let's ask the question. He's so seen something, uh, an unidentified person or outsider or something. Purpose Mind of the if scene. I ask what you were doing out here? Okay. Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Okay. Maybe he's setting a trip. He's setting a trip. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Okay. Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Okay, I get it. Thank you for the questioning. Alright, since I got the correct knowledge of Adrian Black, let's see. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. So he doesn't know. He's just a witness. He works at the railway, so there's nothing to accuse about, so he's telling a truth. You ever seen the car before? Mm. Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. Okay. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. Mm. Okay, I get it. So what does this of the wallet mean? The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? <laughs> or maybe you're hiding something that's why you never knew what's going to happen. See, I see that laughing face, so let's go to the now. patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie. Yeah. Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Okay, I get it. Thanks for the explanation. All right, bloodstained pipe found. found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Okay, he's saying the truth. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Okay. Nice, I got the core correct we'll question, the guys. Oh, I feel like a Sherlock Holmes right yeah. now. <laughs> I, I can't really spend no more time over this. Okay. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. Alright. I, I hope there were no missing evidence that I never seen. Uh, I hope that. But since I already got what I needed, I already got that more evidence. Hold E when you next to a vehicle, make your partner drive. Alright, let's hold E. You're the one who drive. Can you drive to this one? So, where do you want to go? Shempre, it's a black residence, man. Let's go introduce ourselves. 
You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's ask him. Just a minute! Hmm, okay. Here she comes. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Okay. All right, let's go. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Insta Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Okay. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, okay. we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Sure. Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. All right, let's look around, see if well, we can find something. Out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. What's this? Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Yeah, who brought this home? Is there anything in here? What? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. So you should really work at the Cavanaugh's bar? What's this? Train Use ticket. ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. What? So he's got a deed? Wait. So if his body's not there, maybe there were really a foul play. Adrian's photo. Okay, investigate further. To my Adrian. Job sick and lonely without you. Hurry back, my darling. Nicole? Alright. She got well explained to you by the name of Nicole was familiar and familiar with. Maybe this guy is a fucking cheating. He's cheating on his wife. Alright. This must be Adrian's. Alright, let's see. So it really looks brand new. So the glasses are a match. Yeah, it's match. It's match from the scene. Alright. Is there more? Alright. Why there was another bathroom here? Is that her? Is that her picture? Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Yeah. What, they having a problem? Why, why, why the pictures separate if they, uh, if they live together? That's, <laughs> maybe they fighting. Maybe they fighting. I don't know. She got a lot explained to do why they, why they separate. Maybe they separate, uh, this is where Adrian sleep. And this is where her wife sleep, sleeps. Okay, I get that. Ooh, another newspaper? Okay. Alien Spontane provides up to travel vets. Alright, let's see the... What? Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So, you're a friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy? Seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. Okay. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Is he injected by a drug or something? 
The bee is being injected by a drug. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. It looks like a Moriarty to me. <laughs> the, you know, the Sherlock Holmes rival. The fucking criminal who is responsible for all the killings happen. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things. The same Kavanaugh's bar. So it's still the same. So there's nothing to see about here. Alright, let's see another place. This must be the dishes. The Alright. Oops, the same thing. So there's no changes to the same name, the same uh the same stamps. Insta heat. This was only recently installed. Not two days ago. What? Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Damn. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Alright, let's go look at the back, see if we can find something here. The daughters. Victoria. Okay. Alright, let's look around outside, let's see. Oh, what? Yo, it's an oxygen. Yeah, of course it's nothing. But we gotta make sure. Maybe we can find the crews here. Mm, is it to me? Very, you know, good to me. <laughs> okay. So there's nothing here, so let's go outside. Let's see if we can find something that relates here. Hour. So there's nothing to be useful here. Ooh, what is this? No use leaving the thing half finished. Yeah. All right. Oh, we got a we got a match this one. All right, matching ones complete. All right, maybe this one. Good. Maybe this one. All right. Yo, why, why, why technicians did not finish this kind of installation? Look, that was easy. Oh, the, so the pipe missing from Mr. Black's here is the same one that killed him. Huh? Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Bucket and instant heater. Na siguro ginatanggal sa culprit nito, then remove it, and if someone, a uh, assailant, killed the killed the victim. Then that's why he shatters in blood. If he was really beaten uh, by a insta hit fight or on the victim, killed him brutality way. But there's no way that. You can spread all over the blood in the goddamn car for no reason. It's very confusing to me. I got she got a lot of questions to do. But first let's see here. If we can find here. No. There's nothing to find here. What about this one? Okay. It's not appropriate, okay. Sorry about the flowers, but right, maybe it's clear. Okay, maybe let's go back inside. Um all right, let's Grab let's have a call. R and I can run down an address to Kavanaugh's in no time. All right, All right, this is the phone. Operator, give me dispatch. Okay. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar. Corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Okay. Thanks for your help. 
All right, let's ask our questions. All right, the slaughterhouse receipt. I'm we found a receipt. Know. A little she know the from the air when pig. This receipt was made out to an F Morgan. A pig? If Adrian runs a tool business, that would be Frank Morgan. Liar! God knows what he's up to. Okay. So well, she's telling the truth. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. So they're close. Told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. Mm. They're always out drinking together. Kavanaugh's Bar matchbook. Okay, let's ask that. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's Bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Okay, she's telling the truth. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Okay, I get it. Thank you. All right, we gotta find a way to the location of Adrian Black. Let's see. If she Did your husband about tell you where he was going. going last night? All he said was he was gonna meet Frank for a drink. Sana all. Okay, so they always meet. They're always baby their body together. Or we became partner then. The things of Barcada, pagkatapos ng trabaho. What I was supposed to say, he's telling the truth. So nothing out of the usual, then. Yeah. Well. He came home early from work. He never comes home early. Mm. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Damn. What's wrong with this guy? Alright, what about this one? Photograph signed by Nicole. Let's see. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop with the lying, miss. You knew something was written on the back. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. Come on. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. Okay. I told you what I know about the picture. Okay, well, how can you explain about the written on the back by the name of Nicole? It's concealed message, ma'am. See? Photograph of Adrian is hurry back my home, darling. Wait, so she she's she's cheating on you, man. What about Nicole? Mrs. Yeah, Martin? that's right. Was your husband going to leave you for her? Mmm. I've seen the photo frame. Okay. He okay. thinks I'm stupid. Mm. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know. So she's really thing. falling in love with him. Okay. Alright, what about the stencil's glass? Let's ask Was her. your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Okay, she's standing the truth. Go on. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Okay. All right, let's see her alibi. See if she I think you something. should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Mm -hmm. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Of course not. Oh, what an awful thing to say! It's just an evaluation. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Okay, it's just for an evaluation. Parang gina evaluate na natin siya if she's she if she had no movement last night, she didn't come over or see something, or she's not on the scene. Well, she's telling the truth. Well, she's always here at night at home. Well. There's nothing to be blamed about, I just prefer Is it. there anyone who can vouch for that? Mm. Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Okay. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. All right. Nice. So we got what we need, so we have to go through. 
you have to go for this location. Hey, excuse me, Batowski. <laughs> Batowski, you're blocking the way, man. No, this All right, way. I will go the other side. Damn, you're blocking the way. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Why are you stopping? Just keep moving. Don't block on the drive's way. All right, you drive, no man. You can drive. Go. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Yes, of course, we're going to the cavernous bar where where agents drink with his fucking buddy. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think yeah. she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Yeah, maybe. So always being at the scene, well, alright, we're in the Cavernous Bar location. Hey, I know you! No you don't. Who's this? Food wasn't great. We were at school Food. together! Uh, how about you buy me a drink? For, for old time's sake. Sorry, I don't trust that. All right, let's see. It's our oh, shit. The graphics band. You looking for someone? Oh yeah, of course. Um, you know Frank Morgan? Yeah, Frank sure. Morgan. Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. There's something funny about the clam chowder. All right. Let's interview Frank Morgan. Oh, there Frank you are. Frank Morgan. Bitch. Who's asking? Good question. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Mm. Are you aware that he's missing? Yeah. No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. All right. All right, into a abandoned vehicle. All right, let's ask. Found that. Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Mm. Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, He's a good oh, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You're lying, man. Come on, you're lying. Mm. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? All right, let's talk about the receipt then. What about the receipt found in your trunk's car? About the receipt for the hog? Come on, let's do that. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. That's right. He has your you name. Go to slaughter yard and nail you on it. Mm. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He okay. Wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Wait, he faked his own death? What? All right, where's this location? Where exactly went? is Black Hold Up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. <laughs> Let's bust this guy. I would prefer a bad cop or dog. Let's dog this guy. Your stick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of him. <laughs> you. Yeah. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows mm. town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. All right. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Nah, let him go. Just, he had nothing to do. We're only after the one suspect here. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'll go back to my drink. Let's go, Batowski. There's nothing we can do about him now. All we have to do now is to bust this guy. Damn, Agent Duck is fake his own death. That's bullshit. You're behind the wheel. All right, let's get to this All apartment. Right. Where to? So he's hiding at this apartment for a moment, but when. Car 11K, car 11K, come in. Okay. KGPL calling the car 11K. 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Message from Technical Services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the BE Freight Depot is not human. Repeat, what? not human. And compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Roger, KGPL. What? A swine? Reel this guy in, Phelps. So the, the blood is not owned by the human, but, but owned from the swine it made of? 
so that's why the pig that's why the live hog was there so i got a adrian black has got a lot explaining to do with this one gotta bust this guy man he fake his own death well, let's check the place out come on come on adrian where the fuck are you oh there it is you said this apartment too apartment two all right, let's bust this guy. I want to punch this guy's face if I really wanted to. All right, to the left. Apartment one and two, so this must be it. Help you, gentlemen. Good question. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. What? <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. Is that is that why you want to left your wife my alone? Shit. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Gun. Come on, we don't do that, okay? We don't We're shoot in brute angry. force. Freeze! Oi! Hey. If dog gun got go. Why are you running? Why are you running? Mr. Black, get back here right now! Come on, man! What's wrong with this guy? Freeze! It's over, Adrian! See? Stop right there, Adrian! Da, da, pandagi kagago. How's that, huh? Why not just come clean with her, Black? Come on. Why the melodrama? Yeah, why are you I melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Mm -hmm. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Yeah. You're destroying your job, man. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you could go a long way in this department. Okay, thank you, Captain. It seems the Captain is beginning to like me because of my skills of inter uh, skills techniques of uh, investigation. Alright, clues found. 14 out of 14. Question correct. 12. So I got no problems on it. Adrian Black can look forward to this day in court and a beating from the LA crest. So, vehicle damage? No. Injuries? Okay. No city damage. Okay. So, that is what I'm doing. Alright, let's see what the next story is. The console scar. Okay. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. Mm. VR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. All right. Get going, but... Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. You catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they... Alright, guys. Um, Seguro, uh, th this is where I stop for a moment. So, I want to thank you guys for watching my content here in LA Noir episode. So if you're new to watch this channel, just click like and subscribe. Click the notification bell for a map to see the video. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a safe day at home. And I hope this pandemic will gone soon enough or, or a year later. But yeah, but have a safe trip. Uh, have a safe health for all of you, for all my viewers out there, to all people. Yeah. So thank you for watching, guys. Bye.